Hi, everyone. A very good evening, good afternoon, good morning from wherever you're watching or listening. Uh, welcome to uh, another live series with Riku. Uh, we, I just want to start off by saying also uh, welcome into ICW, which is halfway through the International Coaching Week 2024. If you have any chapter notices that you have great, great, great talks and engagements going on, please go ahead, uh, sign up, register. There's a lot happening across the globe. Uh, the Regal Live Series is a weekly live series that aims to enable coaches to build a prosperous coaching business by becoming the best coaches that they can possibly be. Regal Unlimited is a leadership development company that has over a decade of excellence uh, and just disrupting leadership development through coaching and coach training. I have been a product of this school. And I also have a fellow product with me today, Bhavani. Uh, welcome, Bhavani. Thank you, Shruti. Lovely to be happy to be here. It's abs it's an absolute honor. I must say, whenever uh, I was uh, when I was asked to could I do this with Bhavani, and I just hopped and jumped at the opportunity to say yes, absolutely. So just a quick uh, p oh, go on. <laughs> no, no, I was gonna say it, it's it's an honor, likewise an honor. So let's get going. Let's get going. A quick snippet about Bhavani for anyone who is living under a rock and does not know already, but Bhavani is a passionate, <laughs> support, passionate about supporting executives of leaders who are seeking personal and professional fulfillment through growth, balance, and change. Um, she's pivoted two years ago from a corporate role into becoming a part, from a part-time coach to a full-time coach, a facilitator, trainer, and recently this full-time move that we will talk about more as well. With a professional services and industry experience in the UK, as well as in India, uh, her appreciation for the art of science, of aligning work and life priorities as a mother of uh, five fabulous children, uh, a wife, a daughter, sibling, and a provider. Her corporate career has primarily been focused on internal audit and risk management, and leveraging this experience, she regularly speaks about uh, and trains uh, in, on the interpersonal and human aspects of business, risk, and audit. Ooh, what a trifecta. She's a PCC certified coach with ICF uh, and a practitioner of multiple human capability tools and frameworks such as conversational intelligence, NLP, and positive intelligence. At the heart of her coaching philosophy is the principle that we are all evolving all the time to become better versions of ourselves. Her approach encourages the freedom to experiment, make mistakes, and learn from them. In doing so, she supports her clients to unlock the full potential that resides with it, within them. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you, and thank you, Shruti. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The, the first thing that I do want to talk about, firstly, I know for anybody who's listening, if that seems like a mouthful, um, Bhavani is just saying, all of that. You've been a seasoned corporate uh, employee, right? You've had a journey in finance, as we, as I just read out. Can you share a little about that journey with us, please? Yeah, I mean, starting with, you know, I come from a, a very traditional, not traditional, but a regular Indian family in which you had very few choices of career. So finance was one of those on the list you can choose from. So I chose that list. You know, maybe maybe at, at a different time, I might have chosen to be, you know, working with uh, within the coaching environment or something like that. But having done that, I kind of, you know, life took me into risk and audit very early in my career. I spent almost 15 years of that in the UK. Um, obviously, you know, that was my foundational years. And the last 10 years has been in India. And until last month, I was very much a corporate employee, you know, working in the corporate environment for over 25 years. And I think as I went through that journey, what I discovered in business as well is that at the heart of business, at the very heart of it is, is human mindset. No policy, no process, nothing can take away the individual that's at the very heart of it. And when you think, when you look, and, and as I worked in audit and risk, I was thinking, you know, why do people not do the things that we want them to do? Or why do people do different things? And then you, and, you know, you really discover this mindset that's operating and, and the appreciation between human beings and how they have different understanding. And that kind of led me somewhere, almost accidentally into, into coaching. And I almost, when I, and when I discovered coaching almost by accident, I felt like that was the missing piece that was, that was, I was finding hard to explain as to why 
sometimes business is difficult when it's when there are humans in it and then the whole understanding of coaching and and, and other human intervention uh you know uh, capabilities I almost filled that void that was in my mind about how do we get the best out of business and you know at the at the heart of business in in any business is is the ability to take risks and manage those risks and that's kind of where my role has always been uh in my corporate career i hope that answered that question well it definitely gives an insight on how you've navigated through uh and probably collided the two worlds that you had right talking about navigation uh you said you 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 got into this uh coaching uh it was just a fluke sometimes right? yeah. that's i've heard you say that in the past as well but let's uh i i i would like for our listeners to hear how has this coach journey a coach journey discovery been for you because you've also moved continents i i have and every time i step deeply into coaching my life changes okay so and i have to share this because it happened twice in in a big ways um in back in 2013 i literally accidentally with my step daughter went for a workshop and i didn't know what it was she dragged me and it was a coaching workshop for two days and i was just dumbfounded i was like where was this this intervention all my life and um and then i signed up for everything i could sign up for i signed up to become a coach and end up an lp practitioner and everything but within a month of of signing up my husband and i did a deep reflection using the wheel of life ironically and or incidentally and it led us that very night to decide to exit the uk and come to india so that's how coaching makes me take big bold decisions and within 9 months of that decision we were here you know november 2013 we landed here with three small kids uh, you know and uh, started a new chapter so in that sense you know coaching has played a huge part but let me go back to the, the kind of you know in, in the uk when i started my coaching journey the coaching academy was a you know probably still the largest coaching school in the uk thousands and thousands of coaches have come through that and i see somewhere um, and i had a great i mean a great journey uh, that was all i knew at that time um and it gave me uh, a lot of tools you know and it was a, it was a very scaled kind of coaching session you know coaching training i had 70 members in my cohort we were all sitting in live classes and anyway when you have 70 people you can you know you learn but you don't get that personalized attention that you sometimes seek but anyway the, the bottom line was 180 hours of training later i i landed here and i thought quit corporate i'm done with this let's become a coach and when i came here and it was 2013 november and i started talking about coaching and it was still quite nascent i think you know in this country and i had never worked in india i had no connections no one to kind of talk to and the people i spoke to thought i was doing tuition or sports coaching and i was like okay i can't do this so i somewhere lost my courage and went back to what i knew best back to my uh, you know comfort zone of corporate um i went book for deloitte for a while and um and then i i joined infosys and that's been that has been my home for the last 8 years until i quit last month with the absolute blessing and support uh, to become a full time coach so that was kind of my uh, my kind of uk my uk experience uh, maybe i'll let i just want to maybe move on as well to talk about what happened uh, you know uh, in 2021 because for 8 years the, my coaching dream was put, put in a box hidden away and never to be looked at again and um during and covid of course happened and you all you know i think mean, most people really introspect about life and i was cleaning up a cupboard and i found this box of my coaching material and a, a card which my friends in the uk sent and said bhavani joys takes rocks the coaching world in india it was a card like a tabloid magazine cover you know and i was like i was so convinced that what happened so then i and i kind of knew about subhash and regal back in 2013 when i came i started to look for coaches and you know when you search executive coaching even then subhash and regal came up and as but i wish i, I wish i took that bold move of, of becoming a coach then but you know uh, you know there's always a, uh, there's always a reason for everything and so 2021 i reached out to subhash and regal again and i said now's the time now i want to do something about it 
And um, because I had all these hours of training, um, I, Subhash offered to mentor me into my qualification. I did not need to go back to class, you know, to, to coaching classes. And we, remember, we're still in COVID uh, time. Um, but when I, when I heard the word, you know, send me your recording, let me have a listen. I was like, no way. I can't do this. So so I said, no, I'm signing up. So I signed up. I think I was the last to sign up for that batch. And, I, you know, what a, what a great decision it was. Because uh, when I signed up, um, I hadn't really known about ICF at that time. So when, when I was training in the UK, we were using the John Whitmore Grow model and things like that. ICF and its competencies weren't even in my radar. Uh, and so when I joined Regal and, and the competencies became the primary focus, and then it was the, how do I say this? It was allowing us to sit with it. Like it, it, we were supported in sitting with the competencies until we absorbed it. You know, it wasn't like this rushed program, like, okay, let's get through it. And, and you know, he, here's 48 hours or 60 hours later. I, what I felt was the ability to, to observe and make it my own, almost like nutrition to the roots. And I think that, that helped me get my confidence about, I don't need tools and templates I knew when I was learning before, I was given a 101 coaching questions handbook, you know, and I and 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 in and in uh, the regal coaching, the, the way it was, it was part of you, and and I'm sure you, you know, you you're both products of the same school, about coaching mastery, right? The, the ability to own it, where even in the tense moment when you when you're not sure what to do next, just a deep breath and it comes to you. Um, I think that that's what I got from my experience with Regal. I had a brilliant cohort for my ACC. Literally, should be on 16th January 2022, I submitted my ACC to the ICF. On 17th of January 22, I started my PCC class. So it was like the very next day. I, there's no gap, no breathing space. I just said, no, I'm doing this. I'm going full hog. Um, and, and as part of this, and like I said, every time I discover and encounter coaching, uh, bigger things happen for me. Um, soon after, maybe December 21, I had a chat with Subhash about, you know, the potential for a career here. And I also had a lot of support from Infosys. And so around that time, uh, with the support of my colleagues and, and of my coaching family, I decided to go part time. So, you, you know, the so, you know, again, a deep reflection somewhere the wheel, the regal, you know, this, we did the wheel of life type of I think regal at 60. So all of those things helped me again. It's, like, it's almost like a, a repeat of what happened in 2013. And um, come April 22, I'm part time. And it was a two year part time, uh, you know, graciously supported by Infosys to put my foot out there and figure if it if it's going to work. So almost I was given this opportunity to do it in a rather safe way. Um, so I did that and, you know, and I learned, I learned what I didn't know. I learned what I was good at. I learned what I could do. And so that was the, the journey. And so in, even in my PCC journey, you know, I, there was a lot of support in, in peer coaching and in all of those things that helped me discover how to navigate big decisions in life. Yeah. Sorry, long answer for a <laughs> simple question. Oh, fine. <laughs> You're fine. We are here to listen to you, and that's exactly what we're doing. Um, I, I love how you said nurturing the roots, right? And uh, while your roots are being nurtured uh, at Regal, uh, I'm also reminded that there is a new ACC batch starting. In yes, May, so right. if anybody, yeah, if anybody is interested in joining uh, this new ACC batch, reach out to Regal. Uh, they'd be more than happy to have a conversation and um, guide you through the path. So what is it something that you want to tell someone who's joining this Regal family? How has your, what are your takeaways of being a part of this Regal family? Okay. So first and foremost, trust the process. Trust the process, trust the, trust the journey um, and invest, invest your time. I mean, you know, this is, this is not an incubator which has a set process. You know, this is, uh, it's, I would say only 40% coach training, 60% coach effort. Um, and so the coach really needs to trust the the, 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 the trainers, the mentors, uh, trust their peers, invest in the peer coaching. 
I hear often people find it difficult to get uh, peer hours as they're part of this. But I'm like, that is your investment. That is, and so for me, anyone who's starting a coaching journey, I had a military style tracker, by the way, um, Shruti, when I think, you know, when we were both in the early part, I had like literally 100, 100 lines on Excel and I was, because that's how you get something done. You can't just, you know, think about it and hope it happens. So if you're on a journey to become a coach, then you need to have a structure to it, just like any other qualification. But you have to trust the process and you don't, and you can't rush it. You can't rush the competency. You can, you know, it's okay to contemplate, but not agonize over the competency. I think that's really different because when you agonize over it, then you lose it. You lose that, the connection. I think it's good to contemplate about it, you know, reflect. And I think the demo session that happened this week with Subash just gave me that it's okay to it's okay to let the flow happen. You don't have to, you know, you don't need to own the con control of the flow as well. You know, that's that's another liberating thing about knowing the principles and the framework, but not having tools and questions to work with. I think that's very important. Uh, you know, the roots support you whatever gets thrown at you. I think that's what I would like to say to the regal folks, I mean, and people who want to join the regal family. Thank you uh, for shedding some light on that. As we speak about uh, coaching and, you know, having a structure, how has your pivot to full-time coaching been? I think just some light on that before we conclude. Yeah, yeah. So I think I did some micro pivots, you know. Uh, firstly, I was, as, as, you know, we talked about this, this earlier today and I, was, I think it's such a liberating thing if you can pivot your career your journey after a long stint in corporate i mean i think it could it, and if you can do it successfully i think that's that's there's no i think to a, to a it's like it's like a promotion in life if you can pivot successfully uh you know we always work for promotion at, at work but when you can pivot successfully that's a promotion in life because you've literally had a new a whole new career that you can start from scratch with with that successful pivot and so i had a lot of support you know my my colleagues my boss at infosys who gave me this part-time thing i was the only title holder at infosys to go part-time i mean that's like setting setting benchmarks as well and um and so I'm, I'm really grateful for that because then you can you know you can i had i earned enough to live but i could then put my feet and figure out what what to do, you know, experiment a little bit more courageously. And um, and I think it's and I think the other thing is it's important. You lose what I felt I lost, especially having quit, <laughs> having left uh, six weeks ago, is you lose that family that used to be your everyday coffee family, your everyday lunch family, the people you can call and share your pain with. And I think as you as, as we pivot, we need to know what we're good at. We need to know our strengths. We need to know where our communities are. And you know the Regal family has been a great community. I, I regular at least once a week I speak to some coach within the family, um, and that's really important. It's like blood, the blood flow <laughs> to the to the system. But equally, and I want to make a pitch here, and and you know we are both directors of membership for the ICF, uh, and you know of our respective chapters in Hyderabad and Bangalore, and and to all the coaches who are listening to this, wherever you are. Um, what I realized is that we need communities around us, uh, which have, and, and if you are if you are a corporate individual who is pivoting to become a coach, you need a new community uh, because you, while your friends, your corporate friends will be there for you, they they're not they can't be there all the time. And I think the ICF has given me access to a new family. And um, what I realized as I was speaking to lots of coaches recently is that there's somebody who's already been there, done that, and can share their wisdom. And there's somebody who's just starting and uh, where you are th three years ago. And so, you know, there's this huge wisdom flow that can can uplift you as you as you as you move through this new pivoted journey. So I think that's another thing for me. You know, it's very important to find the people that you that can hold you up as you pivot. Thank you so much for that reminder. I think humans are social beings and. Uh, we do much better when and we're stronger together right so we're much stronger together thank you so much for spending time with us um, and to everybody who's listening in i hope you have learned 
uh, a bit or two, uh, reach out to Regal if you are uh, wanting uh, to pursue your coaching journey. And any chapter membership, reach out to us too for Hyderabad and Bangalore as well. <laughs> uh, wonderful time, everyone. Thank you, Bhavani. And thank you so much. Thank everyone. you, Shruti. You know, this was, this was on our list. I'm so glad we did this, uh, you and me. Yes. <laughs> and more to go. More to go. Thanks. Bye. Thank you.